What is going on, people inside the internet machine? Welcome to episode 50. This is my 50th pickups episode. Can you believe that? That's crazy. I don't know how we're going to top last week. I mean, last our last pickup video, which was uh, the Bexley Community Sale, because that was awesome. So, all right, let's get, let's get to it. Let's jump into it. You know where we're about to go, and you know what we're about to do. Garage sale sign down! Garage sale sign down! All right, man. We are back with our uh, our first like trip around the old the old thrift stores. Uh, first thing I picked up for two dollars. I don't usually pick up PC games, but uh, we snagged Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Uh, it's complete. I, do, I love the box art on that, man. I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan. Graphics look a hell of a lot better than the Nintendo 64 version. Like I said, everything was in there. It was two dollars. Um, Guys, I've picked up PC games before. Usually they're like uh, Lord of the Rings games because those resell real quick. And, uh, you know, there's a high dollar about dollar amount to them. They're going for like $40 plus depending on which game you get. This will be our kind of first delve into the big box PC genre. Um, I know it's kind of popular. So this game usually goes for $15, $18 bucks complete, like I said, which it is. So we're actually going to try and flip this. But the reason I bought... This one is because, I, like I said, I like Indiana Jones, and if it doesn't sell, then I'm only out two bucks, and uh, yeah, it definitely looks, would look awesome on a shelf. Maybe I'll take all my Saturn games, but maybe, yeah, we're not doing that. But uh, yeah, so if it goes well with that one, then uh, we'll do a little bit more research on some big box PC games. We'll kind of find out, uh, you know, who's buying that kind of stuff. If somebody actually buys that, then I will ask them if they're looking for specific games or, you know, whatever. All right, you guys saw it in the video was very, very excited. Uh, they had some GameCube stuff at the thrift store, but they're starting to price all their games at $8, which I don't know why that's a magic number. I don't, Maybe they think it's worth more than 5 but somebody's not going to pay 10 so they just kind of figure 8 bucks is kind of right there in the middle-ish. But, uh, yeah, I didn't buy any of the GameCube games, but, man, I've never seen these out in the wild, so I went ahead and picked up all three of those Saturn games for $8 each. The first one, Shanghai Triple Threat. I think this is the one where the disc was falling out. So, yep, there it is. Not the most exciting title, but guys, I never find Sega Saturn stuff in the wild. And uh, when I do, I'll pretty much pay anything to get it. Almost anything. At least $8, right? I'll pay at least $8 to get it. Uh, let me put that one up there. That'll be the last one. All right, the second one here, again, $8, was High Velocity Mountain Racing Challenge. That is an Atlas title. So that was pretty awesome to see an Atlas title laying around. And the case on this one, unfortunately, is a little snapped. I might switch it out, maybe not. But uh, there's the disc. And uh, I don't know, let's take a look at the graphics there. Of course, all that stuff is sort of dated, right? Because it's like 20 years old, but... All right, and then the last one, uh, pretty cool. I was kind of watching a review on it last night. The Mansion of the Hidden Souls. Okay, that one was also $8, and it is complete. So definitely excited to snag that. Uh, apologize, to you guys. I didn't grab any more. I wasn't going to pay, you know, $8 for, like, common uh, GameCube stuff. And uh, I only went out for a couple hours. Because I had to come back and I still have all those Legos and shit that I have to clean from uh, the community sale from last pickup episode. So I, after I came back from that, put all that stuff down, went to work that night and kind of got real lazy. So yeah, they've been sitting here for like a week. Alright guys, we're going to hit it again see if we can uh, double down. Alright guys, we are at the Easy Pawn shop here. This is where I got those PSP games a while back, Final Fantasy Castlevania, all that stuff for $7.00. Uh, we're going to go in there and see if we can find some more games, man.
All right, we're at buybacks. We're gonna run in there. It's one of those multimedia stores. Uh, they typically price stuff too high, but you never know, we might find a gem. What is going on guys we are back from our day at the uh the thrift stores i wanted to shoot more footage there and buybacks but uh, my phone ran out of memory so kind of had to go the rest of the day without shooting any footage which wins some you lose some i guess uh we went to half price books guys i thought i was going to get a really good deal on that legend of zelda twilight princess because at my half price books in my area they put all the expensive stuff uh in the cases so when I saw and it was out of the case, I was like, this is going to be under 20 bucks because they typically will only put games on the shelf that are under 20, you know, under 19.99. Occasionally you'll catch them with a $25 game out there on the shelves, but uh, typically it's like 19.99 and under. So I was hoping to get a really good deal on that Zelda game. It was 35 bucks. I already have a copy, uh, so I would only be buying it to resell it. And uh, there just wasn't enough profit there by the time you have tax into it and everything else. So. Uh, let's just get right into the pickups. Got an eyelash that's driving me nuts right now. All right. So uh, first thing we picked up, got this for 99 cents. Picked up a power cable for a Nintendo Wii. Now, I got, like I said, I got that for a dollar. Um, Maxine's Bargain Box in uh, Newark, Ohio. He takes cords and stuff in trade. And, uh, you know, I got, I'll probably get six bucks for that. Six bucks in trade. Or I may find a Wii that doesn't have one, so I'll end up having one. All right, so we were at uh, Half Price Books and uh, saw this in the clearance bin. I've got a lot of loose DSs. I think I got like three of them laying around. So for $2, picked up this really cool hard case for a DS. And the DS goes in there. And then uh, you can open the top part and you can put your games and stuff in there. So... Just, uh, you know, $2 to add a little protection to a loose DS, you know, console that I have will be is awesome. So, yeah, happy to have that, especially for 2 bucks, man. I was looking in their case, and I saw that they had a copy of Battletoads for $24.99 and a copy of Metroid for 15 bucks. So, I kind of was sniffing around. Thought they might have some other Nintendo games lying around. They did. All the other games were like, $4.99 or $5.99, they were like RBI Baseball and, you know, whatever. Found this game for 3 bucks. California Games. It's got a little ink right there, but uh, definitely always always cool to add a Nintendo game to the collection for 3 bucks, especially a game that I had when I was a kid. So that brings me to, like, the next thing that I'm working on is building a list of all the NES games that, uh, that I had as a kid and trying to track those down. I had completely forgotten about this game. Um, until I saw it at, at Half Price Books. So I need to sit down and make sure I, I do a list of all the games, all the Nintendo games that I had when I was a kid and try and get those games. So, all right, go to our thrift store, man. It, today was green tag day. Anything green tag, $10 and under was 75 cents. Yellow tag was half off. So saw this right away. Hey, you Pikachu for the old Nintendo 64. That was six bucks, but it was a yellow tag. So, uh, Three bucks for Hey You Pikachu. I already have that one with the microphone, but uh, I figure I could use that as you know trade bait or you know maybe get a couple bucks for it. Maybe get like five or six bucks for it. Picked up a couple GameCube games, man. Uh, this was there last week, but uh, for four dollars, you know, like I said last time, I'm not really going for a complete GameCube collection, but when I find them, 
for you know a couple bucks or three three bucks four bucks whatever i'll definitely pick them up especially if they're complete for four dollars it was eight dollars but it was half off legend of legends of wrestling 2 that one is complete so we'll throw that in the old collection i love wrestling games i was actually playing uh, rumble roses xx for the xbox 360 the other day um i'll use this one as a recouper actually this one will be an upgrade for me but it's uh, soul caliber 2 for the gamecube nice black label version and everything in there is in really nice condition uh, my copy is right here you can see there's some damage to the back art so uh i'll be adding this one to my collection and i'll throw that one up on craigslist for 10 bucks and that will basically pay for you know that little lot of games right there. All right, so 75 cent games, man. Green tags were 75 cents. Here's our PlayStation Portable game of the episode. Lego Star Wars 2. Again, that was 75 cents. Complete with the manual. Boom, there you go. Picked up a couple Xbox games. We got Splinter Cell. Again, 75 cents for the rest of these. Um, it's weird the Platinum Hits disc is in the regular case, but uh, whatever. So 75 cents for Splinter Cell. Call of Duty 2 Big Red War. All right, well, my phone just died again, and I didn't realize it. So while I was editing, I realized that there were four more games uh, from this pickup that I wasn't able to show because my phone died. So the first one was uh, Need for Speed for the GameCube. Uh, I got that for 75 cents. I've already sent that to uh, Dino988. So, you know, there you go, buddy. Um, so again, 75 cents picked up NBA Live 2003. Like I said, I'm not really going for a complete GameCube collection, but 75 cents for a game that I don't have. And, you know, maybe somewhere down the road we could use the case for something else. Um, so, yeah. Dark Har 2. Um, this looks like a, like a rally sports series game. Um, graphics actually don't look too bad on that. Probably going to give that a try. And, uh... I still got that, that steering wheel that I got to clean off from like four episodes ago or whatever. So, And the last game we picked up for 75 cents, Ninja Bread Man for the Wii. Again, this isn't something that I would normally pick up, but, uh, you know, 75 cents for a Wii game. I got kids that play that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's a no-brainer. All right. Let's go garage sale. Sure. Yeah. Garage sale, Saturday, 9 to 4. It's Friday. Don't put your fucking garage sale signs out at 11 o'clock on Friday if your garage sale isn't until Saturday. What the shit? All right, guys, we are leaving that garage sale over there. It's been a shitty day, but this is why you always, always ask if they have any old video game stuff. She said, when I asked if she had any Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all that stuff, she said yes. She went in the house. She could not find the Nintendo stuff. So I left my name and number, and I think you guys know how that goes. But she did produce this. A box of Intellivision stuff. The console's in there. There's a bunch of games. The games are all complete in box. She said everything works. So we'll definitely check all that out when we get back to the game room. Okay, we are back from our day of garage sailing. And uh, yeah, like I said, man, the video was a horrible day. Um, <laughs> it was in this like real rich community. It's called like Lakeland Valley Heights or some nonsense. It was our first ever community sale. They advertised it as 100 uh, garage sales within this community sale. Got there on Friday. Now, Friday community sales are, are, are kind of iffy, like Friday garage sales, uh, because Maybe not all the people are going to be out because they got to work on Friday. But at the same time, you know, the people that are out, you may be able to beat weekend garage sailors uh, because they actually have to work on a Friday. So you may be able to find some better deals. 
wasn't the case here. Um, I found one thing at the garage sale in this in this area. Picked up for uh, well, first of all, this is amazing. So I asked, you know, do you have any old, old video game stuff? Went through the spiel. He said, yeah, I got a PlayStation One inside, a PlayStation Two with a stack of games like this big. And so he brought them out. And then she said the famous words. Lovely couple, by the way. She goes, well, we eBayed everything out and the PlayStation 2 stuff comes to $299, but we're just going to sell it all for like $50. So I'm like kind of getting excited. They brought it out. All sports games. All sports games, NASCAR games. So we passed on that. And I said, hey, do you have anything else? Uh, you know, Nintendo, Game Boy, whatever. Well, when you when I said Game Boy, it kind of jogged his memory. He's like, yeah, I got a Game Boy. So uh, for 15 bucks, I got an empty bag. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, picked up a Game Boy Advance SP. Now, I didn't pay 15 bucks on that. I paid $10. Uh, came with a charger, which is always cool to find. Uh, there's three games in here. First one is Mission Impossible. I'll probably end up keeping that one because I don't have it. Madden 2005, which is a bummer. And then, what well, came with the case? You guys saw that. With the uh, Game Boy Advance SP in there. Now, unfortunately, this is a 001 model. Does work. Works great. With the audio, turn the sound up. So, yeah, and inside the console was uh, Texas Hold'em. Um, another game, I think I already have this game. And I think that uh, True Jedi JSH sent me a factory sealed one. So I've got like three copies of that game. I'll just end up giving that copy away. But for 10 bucks, not bad for a Game Boy Advance SP. I don't see a lot of Nintendo stuff out there anymore. And anytime that you can, I say jump on it. Uh, so let me, so they'd eBayed everything out. She's like, yeah, we eBayed that all out and it came out to 15 bucks. I'd never seen this at a garage sale before guys. She had a laptop and on the laptop, she had like an Excel spreadsheet and she had an itemized list of everything that they were selling at the garage sale. So it was a list of everything, what the item was going for in eBay, what they were trying to sell it for. And then when I said, would you take 10 bucks? She walked over and then in another column, you know, what they actually sold it for. She put $10 in there and then took the money and put it in the uh, the lockbox. So they they were tracking every single thing that they were selling, which is crazy. And like I said, that's the only thing I bought at that sale. You guys saw uh, they had 3DS games in there for 20 bucks. Now, Star Fox for 20 bucks isn't that bad of a deal. I don't own a, a, a 3DS yet, so I just passed on it. Um, some guy was selling golf clubs for $10 a piece. Not, not a set of clubs. Each individual club, $10. There's like 15 in the bag or whatever. And he was like, yeah, 150 bucks for the whole bag. Uh, but if you buy it all, you know, you know, I'll give it to you for 120. And we're like, uh, okay. People had printed off eBay listings of similar items and attached them to the items at the garage sale. It was absolutely insane. So um, I had to break away from there and uh, we hit up, hit up our local thrift store. Six bucks, that was half off. Yellow tag was half off, but we picked up a uh, black Nintendo GameCube controller. So yeah, it's a first party controller, which is nice. Uh, I don't really, see, like I said, don't really see a lot of controllers out there anymore. So yeah, all right. So the next thing I grabbed at a yard sale, let me grab it. Nice couple. They said that they were selling off everything that they owned, including their house, just keeping the essentials. And they were gonna buy an RV and they were going to uh, travel the country for a couple years, which, hey man, if that's your dream, that, that's a pretty good dream to have. I'd like to have that dream someday. But uh, in their RV, they ended up, because they're gonna live in there, they needed a, a bigger TV. So they took this bad boy out. Uh, Samsung TV, flat screen. The reason I bought it, it's got uh, composite, uh, USB, HDMI, all that stuff right there. Got that for 25 bucks. Um, it did come with the stand, the remote, power cable, all that stuff. And it's actually in a bag like right over there. So, all right, you guys saw it in the video, picked up a whole box of Intellivision shit. Let's grab it. Okay, so like I said, I go to that garage sale. They have nothing I asked. You know, you got any Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, the whole spiel. Um, she said, yeah, I got two boxes of old video games, which was exciting. She goes in the house. She brings out this Intellivision bundle, which I'm about to show you. She also says 
that uh, her son's like 35 right, or 36 or whatever she said. So, which is like my age. Um, so I'm thinking like an, there's a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, something awesome. Uh, but she went back in the house. She couldn't find it. She took my number. You guys know how that goes. But so I asked her how much. She was like, how much or how about 20 bucks for the whole box? I was like, yeah, no problem. Um, so we picked up an Intellivision. It's all dirty. Now, from what I understand, this particular model is the first model, and they're notorious for, like, not working or having issues. I asked her if it worked. She said it did work when they put it away. This was her, her husband's uh, that he bought, you know, that he bought back in 1979, 1980 when it came out. So, yeah, definitely excited to, uh, to snag another retro console. Now, I do need to plug that in and see if it works. But there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games. Um, all of them are complete in the box with the manuals and the overlays, except for one. And that game was Burger Time. Missing the uh, the manual and the overlays. Uh, from what I understand, this is a pretty good port of uh, Burger Time. And we've got uh, Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack. Now, like I said, you open that bad boy up, it, there's the cartridge there. And then there's, uh, you know, the manuals all over on this side. And then there's... Uh, overlays for the uh, controllers so each one has two which is awesome uh, lock and chase it's like a pac-man clone We've got super video arcade skiing which looks absolutely horrible we got locomotion i don't know what you would call that but okay auto racing there's something shaking around in there actually doesn't look bad kind of looks like uh, rc pro-am or micro machines for the nes yeah armor battle i love the cover art on these things man they're pretty awesome all right yeah i don't know what kind of game that is maybe a uh, driving around shoot 'em up kind of thing gotta have some nfl football and the graphics on that are not as good as tech mobile let's just say that Triple Action uh, looks like a combat type clone. Video Arcade Space Hawk. Man, I don't know what the hell you call that, but uh, yeah, it looks like a like a shoot 'em up kind of game. And then last but not least, gotta have tennis for your Intellivision. And uh, you know, for a console from 1979, 1980, the graphics don't look that bad. I mean. You know, it's not as cool as, like, virtual tennis or tennis for the Wii, but doesn't look that bad for 1979, 1980, like I said. So, guys, that's all we picked up at garage sales. Now, I do have another couple other pickups, so let me go snag those real quick. All right, guys. Uh, I got some pickups for the rest of the week. This is all the pickups that we had for, for this week. Now, I wanted to make a shorter video, but... At the same time, I had to throw all this stuff in because the next video that you will see is from CorgsCon 2016. So I needed to make sure that, you know, I had space available to for that video and to make sure I could make a whole episode out of that. So we're just going to make this one run long. So, all right, so I talked to Brett Hamilton, the guy I work with. Uh, you know, he does games and stuff like that too. He found some great deals on some games. So the first thing, got this for a dollar, uh, Tomb Raider for the uh, Xbox 360. Now, I'm definitely going to play this. It's Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix games, so, you know, it's got to be good. Eventually, I'd like to get that complete in box. So, just looking for the case and the manual. If anybody's got that, let me know. Because um, that game's weird price. Like, some places will sell it for $5.99, and then other places will sell it for, like, $12.99. So, I don't know. Whatever. All right, so we got some more dollar games here. All N64 stuff, which, which is nice. Game that I didn't have. Again, a dollar. Monster Truck Madness 64, which is crazy. That's a Rockstar game. I didn't realize that uh, Rockstar made that game. And then all these are, you know, up for sale or trade or whatever. Uh, I got Mission Impossible, Extreme G, Extreme G2, Cruising USA, and Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Awesome game. Um, I actually like the one on the GameCube a little bit better. So, but... Still, pretty bad, badass game. 
for two bucks, adding another GameCube game to the collection. Picked up Mortal Kombat Deception. Case needs a little cleaning. That one is uh, missing the manual, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, if you look on, on the back there, it's got some unlockables. It's got like Mortal Kombat chess type thing. It's got like a puzzle game. And it's got like some kind of, uh, what is this called? Conquest Adventure. So I don't know, a lot of content on a little GameCube disc. I like it. Said I got that for two bucks, I think. This one I picked up for five bucks, five or six bucks. Um, pretty awesome to find PlayStation 1 long box games. Picked up Ridge Racer. Like I said, long box game. There's a game in there. Um, yeah. You don't really see a lot of the PlayStation long box games anymore. And uh, I'm just happy to have it. Five bucks. Why not? I like racing games. And as I'm looking at it, the, uh, the graphics on that thing looks absolutely amazing. And I think this was like a launch title or close to launch title. But, you know, given back in the time, those aren't bad graphics at all. So, yeah, definitely going to give that a try. Now, the last thing that he picked up, I did not buy these. Uh, the other games I bought, I did not buy these. He bought these, um, and I'm going to try and resell them for him. So, the first one is a legit copy of Pokemon Sapphire. Now, he got that for $10. And then a copy of Pokemon Fire Red. And I think he got that for like 15 or 16 bucks. So, he's got like 25 into it. Don't think the batteries save on there. I don't know enough about Pokemon because the thing comes up and it says uh, timed events or you can't use, do the timed events or the, the quest events or whatever. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. But uh, we'll, we'll try and resell those for him. So, you guys know Craigslist is getting bad too. Craigslist is, you know, if you don't get something within the first hour that it's posted, you may as well forget about it, you know, at all. But uh, picked up a... Saw this lot on Craigslist for $15 and uh, knew, knew that I had to have it. So for uh, 15 bucks, picked up a Game Boy Advance SP, another one. This one is actually a 101 model. So again, 15 bucks. Works great. See that brighter screen? Love that. Didn't come with a charger, but... If you guys remember like an episode or two ago i picked up a, a charger for 53 cents so that came with mario kart a very beat to hell copy of spyro the dragon i don't know what i'm going to do with that and then a nice copy of mario and luigi superstar saga so like i said got that for 15 bucks and then i gave him the spiel i said hey man you got any old nintendo super nintendo games the whole thing um i said genesis his mind went bling he said yeah i got some genesis games upstairs he brought him back down uh there was one game in there that I had interest in. He wanted five bucks for it. Picked up Thunder Force 2. It's got a little ink stain on there, but for five bucks, Thunder Force 2. Awesome shoot 'em up. We'll definitely be adding that to the uh, the collection. So, guys, that is all that we picked up in this like two week period. We are going to hit our new subscribers and then we are going to get out of here. So, stick around. Let me get the list. All right, guys, welcome to the new subscriber shout out portion of the video. First of all, thank you guys uh, for all the new subscribers. Glad to glad to have you on board as we march towards 500, which is a huge milestone. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, again, thank you guys very much. Uh, Terry Hawkins, Robert Lone Bear, Peter Mockran. Mach Hope I said that right, brother. Hector Rivas, Avian Moore, Help Me Gamer, Carl Banjo, JD Souls. With two Z's. Khaled G. Sarah, Sarah Conley. Daniel Lagos. Mr. Christian Link. Dwight Bradley. Sadie Parker. Chuck 1964 Norris. Woo! Hollow Throne. Cheat Commander 65. Anthony Howard. Snapshot. Stefan Wilfinger. J Dog 321774. And of course, JD Alphabets, better known as this dude. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Next set of subscribers all have YouTube channels. I'll give you the quick rundown, kind of tell you what their channels are about. And then a link will be in the description down below. So please, please, please check them out. Uh, Jordan Allison, Super Smash Bros. Wii. Hector Lucas, David David, uh, FIFA 14. 
does uh, pranks, a family guy, that kind of stuff. Super Mario 145 uh, has a, you know, like uh, short, shorter type videos with, and I can't really read that. Can't read my own writing, but he does YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, dude. I didn't write that down right. Uh, DS Noman does Star Wars Battlefront and uh, something called War Thunder. I don't know too much about it. Code Hamilton uh, does uh, like seven second challenge videos, which are always exciting. Uh, does concert videos, random chats and talks, that kind of stuff. Nico Ehrlich does music. Uh, cool new subscriber. Uh, definitely check out this channel. Retronic Collector. Uh, he's from, from across the pond there in merry old England. Um, does pickup videos, you know, and like playing like original Xbox games, things like that. But uh, he's from Blackpool, England. And I think if I'm not mis... I'm a big, I'm a big PDC fan. I love professional darts. Um, yeah, like... I, th I think Phil Taylor's like from from Blackpool, isn't he? So correct me if I'm wrong, dude. And they also had something in his video that I had never heard before. Maybe one of you guys from uh, from the UK can help me out here. He was talking about a car boot. I'm not real sure what that is. Uh, maybe like a garage sale or yard sale or something. I don't know. So if you could clear that up, man, that would be awesome. But check out that check out uh, Retronic Collector's channel. Raphael and brother, I'm gonna tear this one apart. Nas Nasiamento. Hope I said that right. Uh, music does like Scorpions acoustic type stuff, which was actually really cool because I love those like hair bands from the 80s and things like that. Uh, Buns B does stuff on Steam. Lots of like, lots of Zelda stuff like Master Sword review, other kind of stuff like that. And a ton of other like game related content. Uh, Luigi999 does uh, Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Amiibo stuff. So that's cool. Um, cool. Cool guy Dankweed does as puppy videos and uh, Dragon Ball Z. So if you're like into Dragon Ball Z, he does Dragon Ball Z stuff too. So check that out. MC Murr uh, does like unboxing videos. Um, he does more modern stuff like Xbox One and PS4. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely check that out. Uh, does like unboxing of PS4 games. And they did like Let's Play of like Double Dragon, uh, Homefront, Mario Kart, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So that's just some of the stuff that's going on over there. Apple Bro 543 Young Man has a channel, does amiibo unboxings, 3DS XL unboxings. Uh, he reads uh, hateful comments. So if people are leaving hateful comments on his uh, on his uh, section there, his comment section, he'll read those out. And then he also does uh, like coins, precious metals, things like that. So if you're into that, check that out for sure. Danny Beckett, uh, Call of Duty Assassin's Creed. Randy Yash. Does uh, some type of first-person shooter game. I'm not really sure what it's called because I don't play first-person shooter games. And uh, it's not named in the link like Call of Duty or whatever. So, uh, Danny, if you if you could clear that up and tell us what you're playing over there. Uh, leave that in the comments section. Killzone Channel 2004. Killzone on the PlayStation 2, man. Uh, Sergio Gonzalez does uh, like random life videos. Has soccer stuff. Mario Kart on the Wii U. Miguel Alvarez. Alvarez, sorry dude, uh, has one video, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, I don't know if he's going to post more videos, but definitely check that out. Jamie Tucker has a vlog, blog kind of thing. Uh, does drift racing in the cars, that kind of stuff. So if you're into that, check that out. Joseph Steelflex, uh, Street Fighter, Soul Calibur, uh, like wrestling video games, things like that. And the last channel here, uh, I found via the Game Hunter, so COE and Leaf. Uh, have a big hand in this one. Found a channel. Her name is Bianca W. She is a Uber Sega fan. So if you're into Sega, check out her pickup videos and like you know her top five games or whatever that she's playing right now. That kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so I subbed to her and she actually subbed me back. So thanks, Bianca. Look forward to some good stuff from you in the future. So guys, that's gonna do it. That is our new subscriber shout out. Um, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you guys next time.
love this game. I should play this. Last Gladiators Pinball. What's up, guys? You're still here? Awesome. Let me throw that back up there. Let's chat a while, shall we? Guys, if you have made it this far and you're still watching the video, congrats on you. Consider yourself almost entered in my 50th episode secret contest giveaway, which I stole from MT Shark 7 and I'm sure he won't mind. So here are the rules. If you're watching this and you want to enter the 50, 50th episode uh, contest, the secret contest, the super secret contest, the super duper secret contest, this is what you got to do. You got to send me a private message on YouTube. Don't leave a comment in the comment section down below or else you'll blow your chances of winning. And it'll invite all the other riffraff, right? I'm just kidding. So this is what you need to do. Send me a private message on YouTube. In the subject heading, put secret contest giveaway. And then in the actual PM part, put enter me. And then leave your YouTube name on there so I know who you are. Because sometimes emails don't match, you know, what your YouTube name is. So if you want to be entered in the contest, which we will do a video for that later down the road, this is what we're giving away. A little shelf candy here. We got these little uh, two-inch figures, maybe two-inch figures. There's Green Lantern, which is cool. Kapow! Kapow! Pow! Which is awesome. We've got Batman. He's kind of big and heavy, so he doesn't want to stay on the on the stand all the time. And then, of course, we got the Joker, which is kind of cool. We're going to give away Super Mario Bros. Mario's Movie Madness on DVD. There you go. It's got like four or five episodes on there. And then we're also going to give away Super Mario Bros. or Super Mario Amiibo out of the uh, Super Mario collection. It does have a little box wear right there, but uh, I just figured you guys would open it anyway. So, all right. Like I said, if you're interested in any of that and you want to enter the contest, enter the contest. Please don't put it in the comment section. Uh, like I said, this is a super secret contest for all of you uh, who have made it this far in the video. So look forward to see how many entries we got next time, guys.